Smelting at Alcoa Warwick Operations began in 1960, and today Warwick is the only primary aluminum smelter in the state of Indiana. Preparations for the smelting process begin in the green mill, where the carbon anodes needed for smelting's electrochemical process are made. The anodes are made from byproducts of the petroleum and metallurgical coking processes, which are pressed into blocks weighing approximately 900 pounds each. The anodes are then baked in the ring furnace at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit for five to six days. Each pot in the smelter uses 26 anodes that have a service life of 20 days. That means our smelter team changes out about 190 anodes each day. A pot room consists of 150 pots, and Warwick has five pot lines available to operate. In the smelting process, alumina ore shipped to Warwick from places like Australia or Brazil is sent to the pot rooms by conveyors, where it is placed in the pots with the anodes and molten cryolite. The pots are then charged with 130,000 amps of electrical current. The current separates the aluminum molecules from the oxygen molecules in the alumina, and the heavier aluminum sinks to the bottom of the pot. Two pounds of alumina creates one pound of aluminum, and each pot line produces more than 300,000 pounds of aluminum daily. The molten aluminum is siphoned from the pots into a crucible in a process known as tapping. After tapping, impurities are skimmed from the surface of the molten metal before it is transported to the ingot department for casting. 